everybody, welcome to Dash's All Access. I'm your host, Aaron Martin. We just came off a successful win against the Dayton Demolition. Now let's take you to Brittany Toulis for our episode rundown. Tonight's episode of Danville Dashers All Access will be bringing you the following games. Saturday's game against the Danbury Titans and the Sunday's game against the Danbury Titans. And stay tuned for a special Know Your Dashers feature interview with AJ Tesserero. So how do you think the game's been going tonight? Uh, it's actually, I think it's pretty good. I think we're going to pull it out. First period action saw the Dashers struggle as Danbury sent Danville two unanswered goals, one after the other. Danville would finally get on the board late thanks to number seven, Justin Brazen. His work as of late has not gone unnoticed by Dasher Nation. So if you could pick a star player of the game so far, who would it be? Brazen. Brazen. Not a doubt. Why? It's just that damn good. <laughs> He's good. He's bringing it. Second period, much of the same, but the Dashers don't go down without a fight, as this shot from Daniel Turgeon thankfully bounces off the skate of A.J. Tesserero to bring the score to 3-2 Danbury. Good eyes by the officials. Danbury will go on to beat the Danville Dashers 4-2 in their first meeting of the season. So if you were in the locker room with the team right now, what would you tell them to get them motivated? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it! If there was any day to just do it, it would be in game two. Danbury came out firing three unanswered goals against goalie Matt Anthony. Their statement was heard loud and clear in the first. Once again, it would be Justin Brazen to the rescue, putting Danville on the board and eliminating the possibility of a shutout. Second period was back and forth, starting with Danbury. Dashers answered back quickly as AJ Tesserero gives some hope to this crowd. Third period would see the Dashers come out swinging as Grant Holiday keeps the train rolling. Garrett Sarges is not far behind. Yeah! Time is running out and the Dashers are in attack mode. A pass over to Brent Clark ties this game up. Clark, yeah! Any hopes of seeing overtime was shot down in the third by Danbury. Danville loses this game 5-6, to six, but at least we got some of this. Tune in next episode as All Access will be covering the River Drivers game on the 10th and two games with Dayton on the 11th and 12th. Now, A.J. Tesserero. A.J. Tesserero, center. How long have you been playing hockey for? I've been playing since I was five. I started in Colorado, my hometown, just a local organization, the Boulder Bison. And I played with them pretty much all the way up until my junior career. And they started a junior team, and I played there. It was just really close to home. So were you always a center, or did you dabble in other positions? I dabbled with the winger position, but I kind of just found my place at center. Real defensive, two-way player, so. So I hear you're the jokester for the team. Do you play any pranks on the bus or on your other teammates? Some I don't shits? know. We haven't had it yet, but sometimes we have the rookies sing songs for the, on the bus on the way back. We haven't done it yet. What song do you want to have them sing this time? I, I don't know. We'll probably start with Bruno Mars. Oh. Nice. Something girly. Serenade you guys? Serenade us a little bit. There's a microphone on the bus, so. How romantic. It's pretty sweet. Like a disco ball? A disco ball. Yes. All right, so Thanksgiving just happened. What did you do for Thanksgiving? We actually had a team Thanksgiving dinner at the apartments. A whole bunch of guys split up. My apartment had mashed potatoes and stuffing. Other guy had ham. Maddie and Ray cooked some nice turkey 
tenderloins. It was pretty good. We had a good nice so Thanksgiving. Did you make real potatoes and stuff in your box? We made real potatoes. Yes. Impressive. Skinning all of them. Oh, wow. Took some time, yeah. But it was good. It tasted good. It kind of seemed like a home meal. So how long do you have to skate to get like work off the calories? <laughs> Probably, they're not even gone yet. Probably <laughs> have to do a little extra jump roping out there. After a couple of disheartening losses here at home against the Danbury Titans, the Dashers look forward to a more successful road stretch against the Dayton Demolition. We will see you next time. What's the one song, the, the really romantic one? The George Michaels one? <laughs> what? <laughs> the George Michaels saxophone song? No. <laughs> Hot pepper. <laughs>